Hi, welcome to tight bound running time calculation for given uh, quadratic function 2n square plus 3n plus 2 equal to big theta of n. It can be asked like show that 2n square plus 3n plus 2 equal to big theta of n. Find c1, c2 and initial input size n0 for the given function f of n. So for, for, for finding the tighter bound or average bound, we are having the criteria 0 less than or equal to c1 into g of n, less than or equal to f of n, less than or equal to c2 into g of n. For all input size n, which is greater than initial input size n0. So from here onwards, okay n0 onwards it should be c1 into g of n is less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c2 into g of n so here c1 c2 and n0 are positive numbers that means all are should be all should be uh, greater than 0 so now uh, we will substitute the f of n in the given terminology f of n is 2 n square plus 3 n plus 2 then here the dominating term is n square when comparing to n and constant 2 okay so we will take the dominating term n square the coefficient is 2 so which so here the left left side okay this term should be equivalent to 2 n square or less than 2 n square so we will we can take equivalent term 2 n square in the left hand side and uh, 1 n square we can take okay so here c1 should be always greater than 0 so we cannot take 0 n square we cannot take 0 n square then like that in the rhs in the rhs right hand side it should be look at that f of n is less than c2 into g of n f of n is less than or equal to c2 into g of n so here the dominating term is n square the dominating term is n square and we will take the dominating term right so after the uh, after i mean equivalent term to the 2 n square is again 2 n square then uh, the greater term greater term is 3 n square and 4 n square it will keep on go until infinity range okay then from this we will take the uh, 2 n square do dominating term here and also the coefficient of uh, coefficient of n and the constant value coefficient and the constant value then the dominating will a term will consider the dominating term will consider so why we are considering the dominating term means because the n square is uh, n square give the uh, give the greater value come here the based on the condition the c2 into g of n will be greater than f of n so for that we are taking the n square i mean dominating term dominating term here dominating term is n square and also when you are uh, calculating this you will get the 7 n square 7 n square is in this range okay in this range that is greater range so we are taking that one so when you are uh, calculating this we will get 2 n square less than or equal to f of n 2 n square plus 3 n plus 2 and less than or equal to uh, c2 into g of n 7 n square here from this step we can take c1 equal to 2 and c2 equal to 7 c2 equal to 7 the given g of n is uh, uh, found gfn found is uh, uh, n square the gfn uh, found here is uh, n square so from this we can substitute n equal to 1 okay when n equal to 1 or uh, 2 into 1 1 uh, sorry 2 less than or equal to 2 n square plus 3 n so 2 plus 3 plus 2 7 less than or equal to 7 into 1 7 so this condition is true for n equal to 1 likewise when you are substituting the n equal to 2 also it will be true so for n equal to 2 here uh, 8 n square equal to 4 n uh, 2 into 4 8 less than or equal to 8 plus uh, 6 plus 2 okay so I, I guess 16 less than or equal to 7 into n square n square is 4 7 into 4 is 28 so this is also true so from this we can conclude for all uh, for all n value which are greater than or equal to 1 this condition will become 
true this this condition will become true so from this we can finalize given f of n equal to big theta of g of n equal to big theta of n for constant we found constant we found 2 and uh, c1 2 and c2 is 7 for this the in initial input size is 1 we have we have substituted 1 here so the initial input size is 1 like that there is the possibility of such terms multiple terms combination of different c1 c2 and n0 for each and every function because when you are taking the uh, right side 3 n squared you will get a different c1 c2 when you are uh, taking the 100 n square in the right side you will get a different c1 c2 so that that that's why we are saying there is the possibility of uh, many terms based upon the given different c1 uh, different uh, g of n with respect to c1 c2 and n0 thanks for watching